Hey guys, it's a blessed Sunday here today in Florida because I've got me some more optic football. I was scoping out a random Walmart today and I'll be darned if they didn't happen to have some tens. Couldn't resist, had to do it. So I got five more tens. As you can see, I got four Hertz, one Lawrence. Uh, the tens have all the possibilities. One of the big things you're really looking for in the tens is the stars. And uh, some of them can be pretty loaded and some of the stars can be pretty valuable. So. Let's dive in and see how we do. I have done one other tins video and uh, I did okay. I got some cool stars. Maybe today will be the day that somebody pulls it downtown out of a tin and that guy will be me. Here we go. Before I forget to mention, I got two giveaways going on right now. I've got, if you check a couple videos back, I've got a contender's football and contenders basketball giveaway video. Two separate videos. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and drop a comment on the video and you are entered giving away for the contenders football, giving away a blaster and a value pack. One winner for the contenders basketball, giving away a blaster and a value pack of that. So go ahead and hop in there. I got four or five days left. Some people do keep these tins. I believe it or not, some people are even selling these. Uh, I do not. All right, here we go. We got four packs. Card but gods be with us. It's time for a nice big football hit today. Five tins, pretty good number. Feeling good about it. Here we go. Starting things off with Dak Prescott. Ty J Spears, Mike Evans, go Bucks. And if I could offer some advice, if you have trouble finding cards in your area, particularly if you live in a metropolitan area or just a busy city, um, check, oh, we got a stars. Check the Walmarts and Targets on the outskirts of your town or even take a nice little Sunday drive out into the country because you never know who's gonna be stocked. And that's what happened today. Let's get right to the star. Rookie. Schoonmaker. Not bad. We like a rookie stars. Second pack, too. Good way to start things off. Schoonmaker fans out there will be stoked about that. Uh, since Optic Football released this year, this is the first time I have seen it on the shelves in my area in Tampa. And, uh, and I check pretty often and I check multiple locations. Chamari Connor, I don't think I've ever got one of his before. So I was excited about that. It was kind of a random Walmart, one that usually just kind of has old cards and stuff that people don't really want as much. Another stars. Let's go rookie, 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 baby. Not a rookie, Steelers. TJ Watt. But we'll take any and all stars. Um, and the other day I was working, I, I work all over the place. Mostly I'm a photographer. All right, 10 two. We got two stars in the first 10, that's about it. So I drive all over the place doing photos and uh, I was kind of out in the country. My job was right next to a Walmart. I was like, well, as long as I'm out here. And, uh, and they were pretty loaded. That's where I got all my contender stuff. So some days if I have the time, I'll even take a little drive. To me, I don't know if this makes me crazy, but hunting, for the cards, this is kind of a fun part for me too. It's like a treasure hunt. You know, it's like, what day am I gonna go? What time? When did the stalkers come? You run in there. There's five optic tens. It was a good day. Josh Downs. CMC. And although I have done 
Optic and Optic 10 stars coming up. I've always said, if I see Optic on the shelves, I'm gonna rip it. If I see Optic on the shelves, I'm gonna buy it. Rookie, come on baby, who's it gonna be? How about Brenton Strange? Not getting any monster stars yet, but I'm not gonna complain about any and all stars. I heard a theory recently that the tens may be packs out of retail boxes. That like retail boxes never really seem to make it to the store shelves. All right, Bijan. So maybe Panini like scooped up all their retail boxes rather than selling them and threw them into these tins. I don't know what the benefit is to them, but maybe they get more money doing it that way. Interesting theory because this is what the retail packs look like. I got those stars. Oh shit. Oh shit. We got lasers, everybody. Pardon my French. Let's get right to it. Packers. Nice. Jaden Reed, Rookie Kings. It's my first Rookie Kings. Wow. That is awesome. Super good shape. If you've watched any of my previous videos, I did pull one downtown this year. This will be my second best pull. And I know, you know, oh yeah, it's not a CJ Stroud or whatever, but it's Jaden Reed. No matter what, a Rookie Kings is awesome. Wow. Heck yeah. So there you go, folks. Tins do have possibilities. That is so awesome. It's my second tin, too. Drake London on the hollow. Wow. Told you it was a blessed Sunday. Really wanted to see one of those. And uh, you got Rookie Kings and you got uh, Blazers, which I don't, or Phases, sorry. And Phases is like, it's a picture, it would be CJ Stroud and it's like five of him in like kind of different looks or positions. It's like the phases, you know. I had to finally look that up one day just to see what they look like. Those are pretty rare. I have not watched a video where somebody pulled one personally. I'm sure it exists. All right, 10-3, let's go. I'm already feeling content. I don't even care what that's worth. It's just awesome that I pulled a Rookie Kings. Stoked. Marty Mapu. Coming up, the last few days I have had no plan. Like if there's a new product coming out, I try to get ahead of it. I'm even considering starting to do pre-orders because I really like being like on the front lines of a new product. Something funky here. I like the look of that. But uh, right now, I don't know what the new product is coming out like real soon. Hen and Hooker, primary colors. Not bad. Always nice to see an insert. Optics have some pretty nice little inserts. Um, select will come out at some point. I looked the other day and it said, you know, release date to be, to be announced. I don't know if they're doing optic football, um, hanger boxes, but that would be awesome. If they do optic football hanger boxes, I'm going to buy a as much as I can afford. I'm going to order those bad boys. Deontay Banks, Michael Strahan, and Justin Herbert. If you haven't watched it, I just did some optic basketball hanger boxes. Those are pretty cool. Stars incoming. Rookie. 
Darnell Washington. Yeah, and then more Steelers. So we got two Steelers stars. I do not collect Steelers cards, so maybe I'll do a group, try and do a group sale of those for, the, for a Steelers fan. I do a little bit of selling. I used to sell like everything. I don't like just sitting on cards that I don't collect. I'd rather someone who, who does collect that particular card have it. And of course I like to make a little money to buy me, be able to buy me more stuff to rip. But I used to sell like a couple dollar cards and I don't wanna say I'm lazy, but it's just like, you sell a couple dollar card by the time you pay PayPal or cut shipping and all that, it's like you really don't make much money. The main issue I've had, I've talked about this before, I have, if it's like, if it's like a $5 card, Lucas Van Ness, I'm not gonna put it in a package and, I wouldn't be against it, but I have the buyer pay the shipping. So I'm not gonna put it in a package and with tracking and make the buyer pay you know, $5 for a $5 card. So I just put in a nice envelope. I ordered these special envelopes that are made just for cards, really secure, they look nice. And just in the last, oh, we got something here. Hidden Potential with JSN. I'll always take some JSN. Just in like the last, maybe even month, I have had five of those card envelopes go missing. I feel just terrible. These people reach out and like, hey, it's been two weeks. And I really, I pride myself in my eBay sales. I have 100% 100% rating. Um, you know, I'll answer questions. I'm very upfront about what I'm selling. Nice, Bryce Young. So it really bums me out. And I have to tell this person, I'm sorry. But uh, your card disappeared in the mail. Disappeared. I guess it's possible that like stuff gets mixed up or lost, but it's like these special envelopes in particular. Something shiny. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. We got a bunch of stuff. We got a special card. Kyle Pitts on the 100 emoji. It's one of my favorite emojis. You see that? That's cool. I haven't seen that before. Nice little red on red. Awesome. We got a rookie hollow. Rookie hollows are tough to find, baby. Jamari Connor again. Don't see him at all, and then I see him twice in one day. I honestly think that might be my first rookie hollow I've pulled. Wow, that was an exciting pack. All right, last 10. So anyways, I don't know what to do. It's like, I obviously can't just keep doing that. I can't send cards in the mail, just hoping that, you know, 50% chance they're gonna get stolen. If anyone knows how to send like just a cheap, I mean, just a regular envelope size package, with tracking for cheap, let me know. Cause when I send stuff with tracking, it costs me $5 and 50 cents. I think maybe that if you do the eBay thing, your eBay shipping yourself and you get like a label printer and all that, maybe that's the solution, but I don't know. I'm not there yet. It really bums me out. Luckily people are pretty understanding. I just refund their money. I've even sent some people another card just to make up for it. But then like I'm out double. A straight base pack. I guess I deserve that. Little homes on top at least. But the rest of the stuff I send with tracking in a package and I've never had a problem. All happy customers. Whoa. What the heck is that?
We're getting some weird stuff today. Uh, it's one of those. Kenny Pickett. Chain reaction. I just saw these flames. I was like, what the heck? So excited about that rookie Kings. I'm glad I made the decision to buy all of their tins. <laughs> Lucas Van Ness. All right, we got one pack to go. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate all of you that subscribed. We finally got up over 450. Took a while, took some effort, but uh, appreciate you. Trying to get up to 500 as soon as possible. And uh, don't forget, I got two giveaways going on right now. So jump on in there, a couple videos before this. One more rookie. Wow, isn't that crazy? I swear I've never seen him before. Jamari again. All right. And if you don't subscribe, regardless of the giveaways, please consider subscribing, I appreciate you. And uh, I seem to be on a streak of just finding stuff, so I don't have a plan. New stuff comes out, I try to be one of the first to get it. And otherwise I just see what's on the shelves, what's available. Appreciate you watching. Fun day. Uh, quick review. Star, 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 star. We got the 100 emoji, which is cool. I didn't even know that existed. And we got Rookie King. A good looking Rookie King. Awesome hit. Couple base rookies. Couple inserts. Not a bad day. You know, a lot of people think tens are kind of a waste of money. Like you you don't get that many cards and it's kind of expensive for what it is. And like nobody really wants the 10 or a lot of people don't. But like you are getting some different stuff in here, whether these are retail packs or not. You're getting a bunch of stars, which are, you don't get in the blasters. And uh, you have possibilities for all the good stuff. And they are actually in there sometimes. Um, I'm sure somebody out there has pulled a downtown out of a tin. That'd be an amazing day. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Fun times with Optic. Blessed Sunday. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.